This an idea is the term soft power is very important to the cultural diplomacy movement. What is your understanding of this? Uh, it's a very wide question. I can say it's not so easy to, to find one exact answer, but I think um, the the culture, of course, is very, very uh, important part of uh, soft power. And now we see in globalized world that the most, if more, most effective uh, power is soft power because the, the hard power doesn't work. We now we can see it's not, it doesn't work very well. And smartest. Um, governments and the smartest leaders are trying to use the soft power as including uh, cultural diplomacy and cultural uh, power for um, um, so for uh, getting uh, their uh, goals uh, but I can say honestly the, the goals are different it's not for all is that the soft power is very something uh, very good uh, for, but the def definition it's not so, so so easy but this is my this is my opinion about that how are you trying to, to use soft power in your politics uh, so of course uh, the Latvia is small country and the Minister of Culture is like the second uh, Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs and now we are uh, we have very good we are very talented nation and we have many good artists uh, even this morning in Berlin we had press conference about the, our famous um, stage uh, director Alvis Herman is uh, who made uh, performance in Berlin and tonight we have uh, opening of uh, uh, Latvian artist uh, painter uh, exhibition and I am invited here and now uh, I have many friends who are living and, and, and working as musicians and uh, artists in Berlin and other countries and they are making uh, they are making image of our country and it's very important if you are now with, uh, think about Latvia you know by Boskide, Maris Janssons and other it, it's, it's very very important for the image of country and many uh, decision makers knew that and they, they, they have their own opinion about our country and it's, it's very important. How do you see the situation in Europe uh, regarding the downfall of the Euro at the moment? Uh, do you think that's, that hard, hard power will be more of an issue now? No, I don't think so. Uh, it, it, it times, this time is more or less over. Of course, uh, just soft power and just cover doesn't work very effectively. But I think in this, uh, I am just a little bit worried about uh, the financing of culture and uh, in Europe. And now we are talking, you know, we're in Brussels about the next. Um, uh, strategy 2020 of Europe, and I want to have discussions with my colleagues from different European countries about how deep the cultural dimension will be implemented in, in, in such uh, in such uh, strategic documents of Europe. And this is, I, I see that many governments just are now are focused on the fin finance uh, system surviving and so many many economical uh, things, and they are, they are trying to forget that the biggest value of Europe is creativity and culture. It is the biggest difference, the big, biggest advantage at all. And now we must, uh, and I am trying to do my best to all the time is with our to talk with our government and I'm talking with my, my colleagues in Europe that we must remember that it is the biggest advantage for us.